What's up guys, Sammy here. If you're an aspiring or already established streamer and or creator, you know that there is always room for improvement. The tools that we use can benefit our workflow and generally make things a lot easier. Today we're taking a look at a product that aims to fit that area of the market, the Elgato Stream Deck, a product that provides 15 easy customizable button displays. Taking a look at the Stream Deck, it features a strong plastic material design with curved edges around the top and around the buttons themselves. The buttons have a soft tactile click and feel really responsive. On the bottom of the Stream Deck, you've got some bubble type feet, which seem to do an okay job of keeping it in place on your desk. Included with the Stream Deck, you'll find an adjustable stand which allows you to position the Stream Deck at various different angles for comfort, and also include rubber feet on the bottom which in my opinion do a better job of keeping the Stream Deck in place on your desk than the feet on the Stream Deck itself. The Elgato Stream Deck features USB 2.0 connectivity to your PC or Mac, and the cable itself has a good length to it at 150 centimeters. Unfortunately, it's not a detachable cable. All right, let's take a look at the Stream Deck application. The overall interface gives you a display of what you see on your Stream Deck, and as you add actions, you'll see these changes in real time. Starting from the top of the app, you have the ability to create profiles. This is good as you can create a profile for different applications you use. For example, a profile that is dedicated to streaming, all actions and folders will be nested under that profile and when you open that application, the Stream Deck will switch to that profile. On the right panel of the application, you have a lot of different options and integrations with apps such as OBS Studio and XSplit. Other useful options include sending a tweet or triggering a command to be typed into your live stream chat, but there are so many other options available as well. You know, it's as simple as dragging in the action from the right panel to the desired location of your stream deck and customizing how you want it to look and function to a certain degree. Elgato also provide an icon creator tool which lets you create your own style button designs with images and text. However, I much prefer to use an application like Photoshop, but it's nice to have provided this to users. With some actions, for example, starting a stream, you have the option of selecting two images, which let you know when you've selected that button. And to me, this makes it really incredibly useful to know whether or not I'm recording, streaming, or if I have my mic on mute. While the application is always being improved, which is evident from Elgato's Reddit page, I'd like to see an option to create multiple actions within the one action. For example, I have an OBS Studio scene called Switching, which displays my switching server scene, but say I also want to mute the audio for a game like PUBG. I'd like a feature that could allow you to mute the game volume along with changing to the OBS Studio switching scene. The point I'm trying to make here is having the ability to control multiple actions within the one button, and this would allow me to be even more proactive instead of setting up a whole lot of different buttons, and something that I hope that could be added in a future update. So as you can see, the Stream Deck makes it really fun and easy to create your own customizable action keys. It's compatible with both PC and Mac, and applications such as OBS Studio and XSplit make it easy to create scene and source switching actions, among many other functions. To sum up my thoughts on the Elgato Stream Deck, while the price is a little high for what I would have wanted to pay, its features and usefulness have made it worth it for me. While the Stream Deck makes it easy for streamers and creators alike, it's not just like you have to be a streamer or content creator to use it. Think of it as an extension to your keyboard, and there are many uses for it, and for me, it's a recommendation. But that's going to wrap it up for my review of the Elgato Stream Deck. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.